Just hours after the first Briton with coronavirus left this hospital, another patient checked in. Tonight, a woman who was infected in China has become the ninth case in the UK. She's said to have flown in a few days ago and is now in an isolation unit here. Earlier, Steve Walsh was discharged from the same hospital, having made a full recovery. He said, I'm happy to be home and feeling well. I want to give a big thank you to the NHS. It's good to be back with my family. He's not contagious now, but it's emerged one of the GPs he passed it to worked in Worthing Hospital's A&E. Patients at risk have been traced. One woman who visited the A&E last week says she's been told by Public Health England to self-isolate. They said that I had been exposed to somebody that had the virus. I can't contact anybody physically until the 19th. And uh, I will get a, tele a text message in the morning um, to, to see if I've got any symptoms. It's raised concerns about its possible spread in hospitals. If the virus gets into the healthcare system, that could be devastating, couldn't it? Currently, we have policies and procedures in place that are well rehearsed based on our experience with pandemic influenza and MERS around how to prevent the transmission of respiratory infections. Clearly, we want to prevent spread of all infection. There have been a total of nine confirmed cases in the UK. The first were two Chinese nationals who fell ill in York and are being treated in Newcastle. Most of the others are connected to Brighton businessman Steve Walsh, who'd been to Singapore, then France. He unknowingly passed the virus onto two GPs and three others from Brighton while skiing. And this evening, a ninth case was confirmed in London. Despite the number of infections here, tracing close contacts is still the best way to contain the virus. They could go the Chinese route and, and clamp down on travel, but I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, the cases in China are now slowing, it looks like, which is a good thing. But, but think about the draconian measures they've taken to achieve that. Is that really feasible? And really, is it, is it an overreaction at this stage? I think it probably is. 83 people are still in quarantine on the Wirral, having been flown back from Wuhan two weeks ago. Their time in isolation is nearly over. All have tested negative for the virus and will leave tomorrow to finally head home. Emily Morgan, News at 10.